Welcome to segment five of the Eat Right Ontario series on nutrition labeling. I'm a registered dietitian, and in this segment, we will focus on the carbohydrates that are listed on the nutrition facts table. By the end of this segment, you will understand how your body uses carbohydrate, the different types of carbohydrate, what the food sources of carbohydrate are, and the impact of carbohydrate on blood sugar levels. The information in this segment will be of special interest to people who are managing diabetes. When you eat carbohydrate, your body digests it into glucose, a type of sugar that your body uses for energy. If you have diabetes, paying special attention to the carbohydrate in your diet is one way to help manage your blood sugar. Carbohydrate, sometimes called carbs, is a category of nutrient that also includes starch, sugar, and fiber. These are three types of carbohydrate that affect your blood sugars differently. When you eat starch and sugar, these carbohydrates will increase your blood sugar level. Examples of foods that are high in starches include bread, pasta, rice, and potatoes. Examples of foods that are naturally high in sugars include fruit and milk, while some of the sugars that are sometimes added to foods include honey and white or brown sugar. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that your body cannot digest. There are different types of fiber. Soluble fiber is especially helpful for controlling blood sugar levels. Eating foods such as oats, barley, cereals with psyllium, beans, eggplant, and okra will give you a source of soluble fiber. If you are managing diabetes, you can still enjoy foods with carbohydrate. Here are some specific tips about carbohydrate for diabetes. First, choose high fiber foods. Fiber is a type of carbohydrate that does not increase your blood sugar levels and can help you to feel full. Choose foods that have 4 grams or more of fiber per serving, which is a high source of fiber. Let's take a look at the label on this box of cereal. We can see that under the total amount of carbohydrate, the amount of fiber listed is 2 grams. This is a source of fiber, but it is not a high source of fiber. If we compare it with this package of cereal, we can see that under the total amount of carbohydrate, there is 4 grams of fiber per half cup of this cereal. This cereal is a high source of fiber. Be aware of the amount of carbohydrate that you eat at one meal or snack. Spreading carbohydrate evenly throughout the day in meals or snacks is one way to help you manage your blood sugar levels. Eating carbohydrate-rich foods alongside other foods, such as lean meat and vegetables, can slow the rise of your blood sugar. And of course, balanced meals are important for healthy eating. If you have diabetes, a registered dietitian can help you understand the amount of carbohydrate that is right for you. Ask your doctor for a referral to see a dietitian about a diabetes eating plan. Thank you for watching the Eat Right Ontario series on nutrition labeling. Practice using what you have learned the next time you're trying to make a healthy food choice. Visit the rest of the Eat Right Ontario website for more information on a variety of topics. If you have questions about nutrition labeling or healthy eating, residents of Ontario can call our toll-free number and talk to a registered dietitian at 1-877-510-5102.